Howdy folks, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaud RV. Hey, look what I have behind me, a 2023 Jayco Eagle HT 27RL. HT stands for half ton towable, and by Jayco's definition, that means the dry weight is less than 10,000 pounds. It's a ninth, in the 9,000 and change uh, weight range, dry weight, about 31 feet long. So with the right half ton truck, with the big rear end and uh, tow package, you can in fact pull this. Uh, three quarter ton, all the better. But for the sake of argument, this is the HT series uh, from Jayco. Now, this has some really new, neat new features. You've seen rear living room floor plans on Jayco's before, including the fifth wheels, but this is a lot different than you've probably ever seen, so I'm excited to show you. One of the things that I'll, I'll point out, different things as we go along, but one of the new things in 23 is that camera prep above the entrance door. So now, one of the most often questions that I got in the past was, hey, can I use these cameras for security? The one in the back, the one in the side? And the answer is no, because when you turn your truck off, it killed power to all those cameras. Now, thanks to your comments in part, Jayco put a switch inside. So you can turn that switch on, which powers all the cameras on, including this new one above the door. This is optional. Put a camera on there and you'll have not only a camera view here, but on the side and on the back of the coach. Kudos to Jayco for that. I like it. Pass through storage up front and boom, look what I see there in that big blue beautiful box. It's a pure sine wave inverter. Now this coach happens to be ordered with the Overlander 4 solar package. Boom. That means we've got multiple 600 watt solar panels. Actually, I pointed the wrong one. Overlander four, sorry, my mistake. Four 200 watt solar panels. We have two lithium ion batteries in this coach as its option. There's a 3000 watt split phase inverter charger. And this is the cool thing, soft start power saver for the bedroom and living room ACs with a heat pump. A lot of people say, hey, will the solar power everything? And my answer was always, no, it won't. Boom, now with this upgraded uh, Overlander 4 package, I can come closer to saying it'll power everything. Not everything, everything, not all the ACs and microwave and all that, but yes, the ACs with that soft start. Because if you can peek around in the front compartment here, Brian, Right here's where your lithium ion batteries live, right up here in this compartment. So this is something you didn't see in the past. There's four panels up on the roof. There's that inverter. There's the soft start for the ACs. That's huge. That's kind of a game changer, if, especially if you're one that's wanting to camp off grid without shore power. Boom, I like it. Let's go inside and have a look on the inside of this 27 RL. You'll see our solar controllers right here, as well as our inver inverter controllers. Now, when you've got an inverter like that, more of the outlets inside are gonna be powered by the inverter. TV's gonna run from the inverter. The outlets next to the bed will run from the inverter. So again, off-grid camping, all the comforts of home. Now, rear living room, this is fantastic. I have a table and chairs right here, two more chairs under the bed up front. This extends out uh, so you can comfortably seat four people around. Panning around, I have a trifold sofa here if you want to have more sleeping capacity. And then our recliners, which are right across from the fireplace and the TV, which is now smart. So all of the TVs and Jayco fifth wheels are smart, including the bedroom and the one here. JBL electronics, so these speakers are JBL, JBL speakers in the ceiling as well as outside. Huge upgrade moving up to JBL from what they were before. This is a bona fide sound system. I like it. But what's behind door number one, you say? Cue up the music, Brian. Boom, more storage. Man, just can't have too much storage. Talk about pantry storage galore or you know maybe your wife has a lot of shoes right whatever there's lots of room for it camping gear groceries extra clothes behind this hidden pantry fantastic really like that now in this model we've moved the sink and the faucet over to the inside i have a nice l shape <clears throat> excuse me l-shaped kitchen area which is always an efficient way to design a kitchen so 
washing and prep area over here. Then I have our three burner cooktop with a range hood uh, right here. Now the appliance package is gonna be consistent with 2022 three burner Furion cooktop backlit controls and a nice little oven and more storage below. There's a cutting board and a strainer that can go in the sink up here. Now we have a 12 volt refrigerator and freezer combo. So very nice. We have a, there's a lot more room in this than there would be a traditional RV refrigerator. I'm a big 12 volt refrigerator fan. Um, it's running off your batteries all the time. And now that we've got this lithium ion power pack and solar, that's going to keep this mighty happy, even going down the road or camping off grid. Solid surface, I should say solid maple drawer fronts and cabinet facing on all Jayco products across the board. Microwave over the top of here. And then we've got storage up here, storage, storage. Very, very nice. Now, let's peek up the stairway here. We have uh, our BM Pro system. This is where the brains of the coach live. Control everything from this guy. This is an Android tablet, our climate control, lighting, motors, tanks, jacks, slide motors, everything. Here's the cool thing. You can put your this app on your phone, control all these functions from your phone as well as from here. Now, remember uh, last year, if you watched some of my videos, I asked, what do you think about this blue? Most of you, not everyone, most people said, I like it. Some of you said, I love it. So Stacy Stewart at Jayco paid attention and continues this sort of navy blue color uh, into 2023. This is the only place in the coach that you'll see this blue, but uh, it's kind of grown on me. I like it. You do have a backlit medicine cabinet and then... This door accesses a storage area or what will be the washer and dryer should you opt for that. You can put a combo washer dryer in here. This shelf would come out and uh, you would access that from the bedroom side. Not a huge shower in this. Remember this is an HT model, so this is a smaller fifth wheel, but enough room in here for me to do what I have to do in a shower. Here's something new in 23 is a larger shower head, all right? Sneak around here and into the bedroom. We've got a queen bed with gas struts and storage under here. So um, two more matching chairs that go with the chairs up front. You have a quick connect for the spray port outside plywood, which is always the case on the bed decks, on the floor and in the ceiling structure of every Jayco. All right. Now on either side of the bed, here's something else you're gonna notice more in 23, is USB ports galore. You got USB ports on either side, you have household current on either side. So no matter what your gadget is, including a CPAP machine, there's room to put that machine and room to power it up on either side. Separate light switches for a reading light on either side and a little bit of storage on either side of the bed as well. If you want to add a TV, TV goes right up here. If you don't, there's a place to put those, uh, you don't know, dirty clean clothes maybe in there. Now, again, if you do want to add a washer dryer, this is where she goes. It's already prepped for that. You have your plumbing and then this is where the dryer vent hole would be cut through the wall. We can add that for you after we get the coach uh, on our lot. If you just want more closet storage, Right, there you go. So we're in a 27RL Eagle HT. This is a 2023 first look at a 2023 on this new floor plan. Again, my name is Mike at Vaught RV. Appreciate you joining me. I'd love for you to drop a comment or three below. Let me know what you think about this floor plan. If you have questions about it, maybe you wanna know when this model's gonna drop onto our lot, which should be very soon. Just uh, leave a comment below and we'll do our best to help you. Always appreciate those comments. Take a quick second, if you would kindly, and click like and subscribe below. That way, when we post more videos like this, you'll be the first to know. Again, Mike from Vaught RV, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vaught RV.